Hey, what's going on guys? Matthew Loop here, best-selling author of Social Media Made Me Rich. Here's how it can do the same for you. And I am thrilled to share with you some exciting information today. I think it's gonna definitely help you get more profitable without costly hard knocks so you can make a bigger impact and help more people. I'm gonna share with you the best practices when it comes to lead gen ads. More specifically, I'm gonna give you eight mistakes that I see many doctors, entrepreneurs, and business owners make when they use these lead gen ads. So let's dig right into it. I wanna give you some value today because I know this information can uh, dramatically increase your results. So number one, the first mistake that I see so often when it comes to running lead gen ads on Facebook is people will scale the budget too high right off the start. So for example, they'll go $20 per day, $100 per day, $1,000 per day. And the problem with that is Facebook sees you've got all this money to spend, they're going to naturally increase your cost per click, your per result or whatever it is. That's just how the social network has worked for a long time. So never put all of your cards on the table at once. Start with a smaller budget if you're a local business. Maybe you start with a budget of 10 bucks a day. If you're a bigger size company, maybe start with a super small budget of $50 per day. We can always, always ramp up as we get a feel, as we get some metrics down, but if you go ahead and give them too much of a budget real fast, I'm telling you, they're gonna spend all of your money and you're not gonna get as low of cost per acquisition or cost per result or cost per lead that you want. That's a big deal. Now, uh, another big mistake that I see a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners make is not including the right info on the actual lead gen form. So as you go to on Facebook ads, Facebook ads manager, you'll notice that in your campaign when you go to select create, a, um, create an ad, one of the campaigns you select is lead gen and on the very last page of your lead gen ad, it gives you the option to create a lead form. And in this lead form, there are several fields that you can ask for. Now you need to understand and know what your objective is. Are you trying to drive traffic to a workshop? Well, if you are, you definitely want a name, email, as well as a phone number. Are you just trying to generate an email lead for an ethical bribe that you put out in your specific market? Well, name and email could be fine. So get clear on your objective first and capture the right data on the form. That's a biggie. The number three mistake that I see so many people make is they don't automate the follow-up. As leads start coming in, you already know this, response time is critical. So the faster either you or your team can respond via phone, it's gonna make all the difference in the world and preferably they would get an immediate email follow-up as well. Now there are systems out there certainly that can integrate with Facebook um, itself like Zapier, but if you're smart, you're gonna have somebody that's really, really close to you or in your office or a call center or whatever and call those people just to confirm. Now, during this lead generation process, there are ways that we can certainly increase the quality of the lead that comes through, but response time is key and having an automated follow-up system in sequence in place will get more people either into your office or in your sales fund. So try to automate it. You don't, you know, last thing you wanna be doing is manually doing everything yourself. That's totally inefficient. Now, another big mistake is not including an intro on your actual opt-in form, on your, your lead gen form. And Facebook gives you an option for what's called this intro. And usually there, it's almost a similar copy as what you would find on the Facebook ad. You know, if you're, a, let's say, a local doctor and you're talking about avoiding back surgery and sciatica, well, that would be what you would place on your intro in the title, and then if you do decide to go with a special offer, you can throw it there as well. And then in your text description box is, is everything that they receive. You can duplicate this for a free report as an example. You know, five questions you must ask before choosing a chiropractor, and then in that description, you will tell them, in this report, you're going to discover this, this, and this. Benefit, 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 essentially. So you have to complete your intro if you want to maximize your cost per lead and really get more people into your funnel. The fifth mistake that I see, guess what it is? Not enabling shares on your lead form. So as you create your lead form on Facebook, there's a settings tab that so many overlook. And in this settings tab, if you don't enable it, people will not be able to share your content or your ad. If you have a really great ad on the social network, you will get a tremendous amount of shares. However, if that option is not enabled, then you're not gonna get any 
What's the problem with that? Well, if you're gonna spend all this money consistently on Facebook and not get any shares, you're, you're wasting money. You know, you, the, the, listen, I love you know, paying for traffic. I love it because I know how to turn $1 into $3 very regularly on a regular basis but if we can get a dramatic amount of free exposure and shares just because of what we're doing paying for traffic that's wonderful and I'm, I'm all about that so make sure you enable that share option on your settings tab when you do your lead form number six six mistake is not split testing not split testing your headlines not split testing the image maybe you have a lead gen ad and you got one lead for $50, which is not really too good. But if you split test that image, maybe that drops down to $25 per lead. You're not gonna know unless you start to test on a regular basis. So split test, split test, split test. Start with one thing initially, just the headline, and then see how it works, compare. Or do the image, and you might be surprised by just how much of an increase or lo a lower cost per lead that you will gain. Now the, uh, the seventh mistake that I see a lot of brands, business owners, and doctors make is they don't experiment with different third-party lead pages. Now you might have a great track record on Facebook of collecting leads, but you should always split test that with a third-party landing page service. So essentially, driving Facebook traffic to the, um, the third-party landing page, now you got lead pages, you have click funnels, you have other platforms that maybe you are familiar with, and sometimes they convert much better than just driving traffic to Facebook and Facebook leads. Every market is different, so you have to test um, each one, but that's another huge mistake that I see, and that can dramatically um, hurt your return on investment. And the last, number eight, the biggest mistake that I see is only using lead gen ads on Facebook. This is ridiculous. There are dozens of other strategies that you can have in place consistently while you have a direct response lead gen ad. You know, you can of course incorporate sequencing and retargeting. You can incorporate case studies and testimonials. There are so many other ways that you can generate awareness in your market, get more people through your doors or increase sales online, generate more traffic and awareness. So many different ways, so don't pigeonhole yourself into thinking that you need to just do lead gen all the time. That's a big mistake that you definitely don't want to make. These are some of the best practices that you as an entrepreneur, or doctor, professional can use immediately to grow your bottom line. Listen, if you love this content, thumb it up. And if you want personal guidance by me, if you want me to help you create profitable campaigns, you can always go to socialmediamademerich.com slash application, fill out an application, and then once you fill out that application, our team will review. That's for our private coaching program. We also have another service that does advertising for a certain amount of clients called Profit365. You can learn more about that service at Profit365.org. And lastly, if you just want to go and hang out and have a great experience, we do seminars all over the world. And this coming April, we're hosting an event in Cancun, Mexico, in the heart of the Mayan Riviera that I think you're going to find valuable. It's three days, 8 to 12, in the classroom each day. And then after that, what's going to happen is we're going to do bucket list excursions that I'm telling you, you'll just have an amazing, amazing time and uh, you know, see our highlight videos. You can learn more about that experience at www.ucam.com dot fun f-u-n so listen hopefully you found some value out of this content today show some love and if you have any questions post them down below talk to you soon guys ciao